Yo, what's good everybody, Gemma Hassan, I'm back for another video. Today we're gonna be doing just a really simple tutorial, how to get movement in your B-roll if your camera's on a tripod. So, it can look pretty boring, right? Like, your B-roll can look boring with no movement, anything like that. It just looks really stationary and dull. So, here's a quick way to fix it. We're not doing anything cinematic here, she's just gonna be walking, that's it. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro. We're just gonna go ahead and import some of the footage that we had from today. Really basic footage, it was just for a test once again. All right, so here it is. We're gonna drag it into the timeline. We look at it, see it's all good and everything like that. Let's go ahead and get it cut down to the right length. So here and where else? We'll cut it right there. We're just making this really short. Like this is just for you guys to understand what's going on here. So the effect that I'm gonna look for now is transform. That's gonna be in your effects tab. Second one right here, not the first one. So take that, drag it on. Now you're gonna have all your transform effects right here. And first of all, you're gonna wanna start setting your keyframes. And how you're gonna do that is go ahead and check this little, like little timer right here. So we're gonna do scale. We're gonna do position, which I don't always have to use that, but sometimes when I do, it's good to already have it checked. And next up, shutter angle, but we're not gonna check that because it's okay that it's just kind of going through the whole thing. So now I'm gonna uncheck this use compensation shutter and this I'm gonna set up to 360 because this is gonna be kind of a slower zoom. It'll be okay that it's set to that. If it is like a really fast zoom or maybe you don't really want the zoom effect to be that crazy, put it at like 180, that'll be good. You have her starting here and she's getting closer to the camera as you've seen. So we're gonna start by a zoom in, set the keyframes. And here's a good example as to where I'm gonna use the position. I'm gonna bring it up some. And now we're gonna go to the end of the keyframe or not the not the keyframe, the, the, the clip, hello. Okay, so now that we're at the end of the clip, you're gonna wanna take the scale back down to 100, this back to 1080, and it has a zoom out. And yeah, that was really quick, hold on. Okay, so there's your zoom out. That's how you can get shots and get movement in those shots, if you're filming by yourself even. Even if you didn't do any movement, even if it was just a static tripod shot, that's how you can do that. And you can do it with left to right also. Really easy stuff. Keyframes are actually really useful, so I do recommend getting into those if you haven't already. You can do all kinds of stuff with keyframes. And I remember when I first started doing videos, even when I first started Premiere, I didn't know how to do keyframes. That was a big disadvantage. It really was because there's so many shots that I had that I could have added even just slight movement into that I didn't. Hope it helps. Hope you enjoyed the video and I tried something way different. This light behind me is kind of weird, but you know what, we're just, we're doing it. And this mic in front of me, I don't know if it's bothering you or not. So let me know in the comments.